Hey everybody, I'm Giles and this is JDM World. In this video, we're going to take a look at a screen. Yeah, I know it's not super sexy, but screens are super important to the experience that you have in your home theater. Up to this point, I've been running a 16x9 screen, which is the same thing as like a HD or 4K television, that same aspect ratio. And, and that's great, but it doesn't have that same cinematic look and feel that you get at the movie theater. And that's really what I want to emulate at home is I want to have that same feel as when I go somewhere and pay to see a movie on that ultra wide screen, right? That cinema scope kind of aspect ratio. So to that end, we're going to install, we'll open and assemble a silver ticket 2.35 to one aspect ratio scope screen. Now this is gonna be with acoustically transparent material, meaning that you can put speakers behind it and they can play through the screen rather than being solid. So if you look at the screen, it's like a woven mesh and it's got little holes that the sound comes through. Um, and this thing is gonna retail for about $440 uh, from Amazon. Now that is a bargain when it comes to a screen. And the one that we're gonna look at today is 125 inch. So it's not tiny, it's not super huge, but at that size, if you bought from a upmarket dealer, you're gonna look at 2,000, 3,000, $4,000. So is there a trade-off in quality versus cost? Maybe, but we'll get into that later and see. Today though, we're gonna put this thing together so you can understand what you might experience if you decide to go with a silver ticket screen for your theater. Now. Before we get started, make sure to smash that like button and then just hammer down that subscriber button and then get all your friends and tell them to come hammer down that subscribe button because that's our bread and butter. We love subscribers and that's what allows us to keep making this cool content for you. And with that, let's get into it.
that is all it takes to assemble a silver ticket screen. Pretty easy, right? Yep, not too bad as long as you have a couple of helpers. Um, hopefully watching this helps you decide if this is a jump you wanna make and move from 16 by nine to a scope screen aspect ratio. And let me tell you, it's super, super cool. Now, this is really just the first step in my upgrade and the second step will be implementation of an anamorphic lens and that video is gonna be coming up soon. So make sure to like and subscribe so you know when that video drops so you can see what it's like to move from a non-anamorphic lens to a true stretched image that uses all the light from your projector. Thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next video.